Hello there, Scorpio. It is almost the full moon. We have a full moon coming up this weekend, and this is your full moon tarot reading. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Melissa, and I do the zodiac readings on the new moon and the full moon, or based on them anyways, uh, where the new moon we were looking at setting intentions, the full moon we are looking at what is peaking, what the moon is revealing or bringing to you. So that is what we're gonna look at. Um, and I also do witchy unboxing videos and other types of tarot readings that are not like personal general readings or whatever. Um, I don't offer personal readings, I mean in general, anyway. And Metaphysical Monday, occasionally, not every Monday, because a mom is tired. And um, yeah, where we talk about magical stuff. Let's get into this reading, I'm so sorry. Blanking out. All right. I'm create. I used. Uh, I'm using a spread that I created specifically for these readings, where we're looking at what is uh, like leading up to the full moon. We have a card representing that full moon energy, and then a couple cards to explain what is coming with that full moon energy, or what that full moon energy brings with it. I, whatever. Same thing. All right, Scorpio. What do we got? All right, are we try and do this in 10 minutes. Just, you know, because you're busy and I'm busy and it's just better that way. Short, straight and to the point. Well, short and to the point anyway. Leading up to the full moon, we have the two of pentacles and the moon. Okay, yeah, so maybe something has been revealed or something is hidden and you're just not so sure about it. So let me show you the cards. Two of pentacles here. We're a little wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly timey wimey things i don't know if that's how you say it or not i i didn't watch very many episodes of that show if you don't know what i'm talking about don't worry about it and then we have this moon card here now i see something in the moon called the card that i don't see anybody else ever talk about they talk about the two dogs um but for me personally i see a dog and a wolf which other people see as well but i see like the, the it's almost like the moon is bringing out that that like um primal part of you the the and the moon controls over water, controls, rules over water, whatever. <laughs> this is a tough one. This is gonna be the last one for the day. Um, the, the moon rules water. So we're looking at that primal instinct, instinctual stuff, trusting your intuition, also leading to intuition. Um, but also like that primal uh, water energy, which would go into emotions. Like it's almost like mama bear type instincts, um, protective nurturing energy, if you want to go that route. That's that's a, like very not typical for the moon, but that's just what I get from it. Um, I read intuitively, so I do know the traditional meanings of them and try to point that out and compare it to what I'm getting into intuitively. But um, yeah, so leading up to the full moon, we have like maybe some secrets being revealed here. Um, maybe something that you weren't sure about, like you were going one way or the other could have been, uh, if you have Libra in your chart, Libra had some similar energy at the beginning of the reading. Um, so if that strikes a chord, go check it out. Um, but I'm getting like, uh, just being kind of unsure of something and, and like maybe you're currently going through the process of learning, um, to trust your instincts or, you know, like that your instincts, your initial instincts were correct. Um, where you were back and forth, like, like, am I right? Am I being paranoid? Is this, you know, like what's going on here? Um, the moon is coming in to, you know, like to, to say that you, you, your instincts, trust your instincts, trust your gut, trust your dreams. Maybe you're getting messages in your dreams or you're having dreams that, um, either like maybe don't make sense, um, that are causing this, like what the heck is going on kind of energy. Um, but this can also be balancing your finances, you know, like well, if we want to go traditional, um, but th that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting uh, like really drawn to that ship. Sometimes it focuses. There we go. The ship back there looks like it's really like, I'm going to use my hand, really kind of like being blown in a one direction, but it's like, it's just the sail. So it's kind of like tipping. Um, so it's, it's like, it needs just a little bit more oomph. And I feel like this moon card is bringing in that oomph where, um, it's, it's revealing your intuition being on point or accurate. The full moon card is the fool. This one keeps coming up too. So I feel like there's a collective, collective, um, trusting energy, a collective, um, you know, going for it, um, without under or not understanding without knowing what's next. 
um, just taking that leap of faith, taking that first step. Um, so this full moon energy is bringing in some fool energy. Again, another dog. So um, there could be something going on related to dogs, animals um, of the canine variety. Um, so we have that dog there as well. Um, but I, I feel like the, the, the fool is, is like the very first step in the fool's journey, the major arcana. We have the moon also major arcana. So I feel like this reading is more touching on larger themes in your life, um, personal growth, spiritual journey, that kind of stuff. Not necessarily your daily life, your work, you know, your, your work and family type stuff. This is a little bit bigger than that. Um, but that full energy, I feel like you're about to take a leap or the, the, this weekend where the full moon energy is, you know, at its peak, uh, I think it's on Sunday. So we're looking at like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, kind of that window. Um, I feel like there may be an opportunity for you to just do something that you weren't necessarily prepared for. Um, but if you trust your intuition, you trust your gut here, trust your instincts, your primal instincts, um, there, I feel like th there will be an urge to just take the leap of faith. Um, so yeah, I feel like there may be an urge or an opportunity to take a leap of faith, um, this weekend around this full moon energy, um, leading into next week. So let's see what else comes with this fool. The sun, we have the moon and the sun right across from each other in the spread. Let's get the last card before I start. And then the queen of cups. I am also getting like super cycle energy here. Not just necessarily because this kind of looks like a bicycle, right? Um, but these big circles, big circles in the cards tell me cycles, um, the moon, and then the sun is even bigger. Um, we have the sun as is a very happy card. Um, this is um, like <sighs> growth. This is like reaching the growth, re reaching the, 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 not the peak of the growth because we're always growing, but it's, it's that happy. It, it just makes you feel happy. It gives you a, 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 a large dose of vitamin D and like you just, you know, get a little serotonin boost. And we also have this queen of cups here too, affecting, affecting those emo emotions. So I feel like, um, and the sun being another major arcana. This is so cool. So down here, down at the bottom, we have these two. Yeah. She's looking over at him. I'm going like, what are, what are you going to do? Um, you gonna make a decision or I'm proud of the decision that you made because this is, you know, timeline wise, this is after the fact. And then across from each other, we have the moon and then the sun. Um, so night first, then day, uh, that may have some kind of, uh, influence in your life as well. Um, I, I, I really kind of getting, get some sleep. Uh, from these two being here. Um, almost like you want to go to bed early enough to come see the sunrise. So you, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm kind of getting the urge to tell you to, uh, get some, get some sleep, make sure you're resting properly. There's not really any resting cards here, but, um, I'm, that's just what I'm getting intuitively. Uh, but yeah, so those two are across from each other in the reading as well with those big giant circles, the sun and the moon kind of opposites. If you were to put, um, this spin on it, this would be like a feminine and a masculine, um, because this is the water and this is the fire. Um, so aggressive, but nurturing, um, be aggressively nurturing. <laughs> that would be, why did I, why did, when I said that would be, my brain finished the sentence with fire. That would be fire. Um, I don't say that. So I don't know what that means or where that came from. And then the fool is literally like on top of the little pyramid of the sun, sun, moon, and a fool up at the top there. So trusting your guts on, on whatever this journey, like if trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition, um, looking for messages in your dreams, doing dream work. I, created a dream journal on Amazon. It's called dreaming with intention. If you want to look that up, it's just a guided dream journal, um, that kind of gives, goes through a process of how to get messages in your dreams. Um, so if, if you're interested in doing dream work, uh, check that out. There's, there's a link to my author shop thing on Amazon in the description. Anyways, I'm not here to sell, <sighs> but, um, anyways, so I, I feel like if you trust your instincts, you're trusting yourself here. The fool, I get more trusting your surroundings, trusting that there will be a soft place for you to land when you take this leap. Um, I always say this with the fool card. It's just what I say, cause it's what comes up for me. It's how 
I relate to the card and it is leap and a net will appear um notably in the movie uh, yeah. not evan almighty the other one the bruce almighty um morgan freeman kind of goes over that um leap and a net will appear that is trusting your surroundings where we have this moon energy that is trusting inside of you um and then kind of like the sun is almost like your physical body like if we were to relate those all three together like that with the queen of cups being like the 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 one again more nurturing energy right fire nurturing ag aggressive nurturing in this as well in this these two cards as well in this scenario so like aggressive nurturing trusting your instincts um that's what the queen does the queen rules with um her instincts and her gut and i feel like this full moon is bringing in some um maybe an opportunity to take a leap of faith trust your trust your surroundings trust yourself this is a big trust exercise um this full moon um over the weekend so yeah i feel like that could be coming in um coming in hot fire fire sign um anyways yeah so but i feel like uh you will be pleased with the results if you just trust uh your gut ear and your surroundings trust that the people around you have your back trusting you know like if they do if there's people that don't have your back get them out of your circle but um and and that way you could trust fall in any direction someone will catch you um, but that's kind of what I'm getting here is really big trust energy. Um, there's an opportunity for you to trust and it pans out, um, for, for good with this. The sun is very happy energy, very warm and very nurturing here. So very warm, nurturing energy. I feel like, um, surround yourself with that. There may be an opportunity to do that over the weekend. Um, this is well over a 10 minute tarot reading. Um, but I feel like it was an important message for you. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, give me a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. You know how this works. I will see you in the next one. Always remember that the magic you seek is within you. Have a blessed day.